Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gareth Major and this is a let's play in HMS Exeter, the new British premium tier 5 heavy cruiser. The first heavy cruiser for the British Navy or Royal Navy introduced into the game. So this is a game of domination on Greece, a tier 5 and 6 game. Uh, looking at the team, Hand, Nuremberg, Shores, Belfast, and Atlanta. So they've got three radar cruisers, and then Ismal, Normandy, New Mexico, New Mexico. So an interesting mix. It looks like our destroyer's just woken up. Very good. Now I spawned in the center. I contemplated going into Bravo, but Bravo can just turn into a horrible point blank cluster fight, which I don't really want to get involved with, especially with HMS Exeter. Uh, I did consider going left, but the majority of forces are already going left, so I thought I'd move over to the right flank and just back up these forces over here, which is the Fabuki, New Orleans, Belfast, so it's not too bad. Their destroyer has uh, showed his hand already and is in Bravo, and our forces going left seem to be, I don't know, putting their wagons into a circle. So there's the shores. There's the Ismal. Ismal's going to be a bit more of a tasty target. If I can get some high explosives on target, get some fires, you make her use up some of her damage cons, that could be quite interesting. It would help if the rounds wouldn't drift off target. Although maybe I didn't lead it properly. Atlanta would be a good one to get a chip in shot on. Oh, that lost it. Back to the Ismal. See if we can get anything to stick. Sometimes moving. So it looks like their entire force has pushed over towards Alpha. I think the Ismail actually used his damage con on the fire that I set. I'm probably going to keep playing this in open water until I am forced to use a smoke screen. I might use a smoke screen now and just focus off the Ismal. I think there's going to be enough spotting on our team from our um, Kabuki. to risen range but I'm not too interested. I want to focus the battleship out first. Atlanta I can deal with another time. Especially when she's a lot closer. I'm just going to pop some speculative torpedoes there in case he changes his mind since so coming around here. Just checking how much smoke screen I've got left. Need to... oh nice. Fabuki got a torpedo here. Just trying to find his superstructure to obviously get some HE on target. I think here the Ismail's going to get focused out of this game very quickly by the three cruisers here. I might even give a P a go. I'd be interested to see what 8 inch AP from the British does against a battleship, especially he's one with the armour scheme of an Ismal because it's got that thin side armour. Now obviously the aim would be to go for the deck level because then you're trying to get it in through the slightly thinner armour belt. That's actually quite reasonable results. Oh well, I'm going to keep AP loaded. Um, Gotta break my smoke screen, gonna make a run for Bravo, gonna switch gun sides. Looks like we're all moving in, this is actually quite nice. So we've dealt with that battleship, well our team has lost the battleship on the other flank. So we're gonna make a push into Bravo then. I haven't got a smoke screen for two minutes, so that's something to bear in mind. I've taken very minimal damage, thank god. New Orleans has still got a plane up, but I suspect her plane's going to come down in the next 50 something seconds. 
which also should mean that any air cover that the enemy cruisers have will disappear. Oh yes, oh yes. So one thing I've got to watch out for is obviously their team coming down. Um, it's just going to be watching our angles almost and making sure all them are hand. Now I've got to remember the Exeter has very, very good sonar. And therefore, I am going to turn it on now and make sure that that Mahan is punished for overexposing himself. And the Atlanta is too far away, so... Someone just needs to get one more volley out. Nice. And now... I'm sorry Atlanta. I'm going to see if I can find your sister now because I have British AP. Mm, you backing off, are you? That's not a surprise. Just kind of waiting for that moment that the Atlanta possibly overextends itself. Now, ironically, the closer to the ex uh, the Atlanta, the better. Ooh, hello. He's going to show up. And he cannot be not broadside. Now, turrets on Exeter seem to go all the time against high explosive fire, especially coming in from the Russians. Shores is getting absolutely chewed up. It's possibly not ideal, but let's get oh, nice. I think if we can capture this objective, I'll be very tempted to push the Atlanta. Because the Atlanta is not going to want to move. They never do, which makes them absolutely perfect for giving a nasty little surprise to. Just gotta consider my options here. Gotta stay unspotted and just see how close I can get. Gotta remember the Atlanta does have torpedoes. But what I'm trying to do is almost when people go hunting they have a dog that runs into the uh long grass and chases the grouse out. That's what I'm trying to do. I wanna go and get the Atlanta into a position. So there we go. I haven't really got to do much more. Cars here want to try and get torpedoes out of me. But now he's spotted, he hasn't got anywhere to hide. I just want to keep teasing him until I know that his torpedoes are gone. In fact, he's going to burn out. <laughs> oh, I just, just watched him die. <laughs> uh, right. Um, I am in a decent position here to drop a smoke screen and take full advantage of this New Mexico. So I'm going to start laying the smoke screen on the 
to do. I'm just going to crawl forward at cool speed and hope to just maximise the size of my smoke screen. Oh, I've got AP loaded. I was just about to say, let's experiment with some AP. No, you don't need to. I've got it loaded. What are we getting out of that? About 2,500? Nothing quite special. Gotta switch back to HE. These are the kind of experiments you gotta do though when you get a new cruiser. You gotta test them, um, see what you can and can't do. So I moved the deck level there, but really hoping that most of it land in the superstructure and set a fire. Nice. Let's see, that Belfast is actually probably gonna enter my range in a second. Bit of a scatter shot, but see where it falls and then I can make corrections. Not too bad. I'll get that volley of HE out and I'll switch to AP. New Mexico's now gone. Got a fire on the Belfast. Belfast is turning out. Let's try that. The dispersion on the guns on the Exeter is very good. I wouldn't see any point in trying to buff it anymore. They are just very nicely clustered shots. Balfast is decided to slow down right as my shells are coming in. Now we know where Batsy is. Just get some zoom in. Let's see if we can find him in the smoke. And this is where the acceleration of the Exeter is going to come in handy. So although I completely forgot my smoke screen ran out, I'm able to get that speed up really quickly. I think it's one of those cruisers that if it had propulsion mods, I'd probably... It almost feels like it already has propulsion mods. That's the nicest way to put it. Sit about there. Just watching the smoke screen to see the gun flashes. No, I will go for the objective. That's the thing, if you want to shoot in smoke, you have to sit there intently and watch. Or you just wait for them to actually turn their radar on. Another happy customer. Uh, I think we're going to win the game before I can even capture the base. There we go. That was a nice game. Kind of showed off a couple of different things that Exeter can do. Came top of the team with only one kill. Made a pretty penny. 66,000 damage. That's not too bad. Well, the commander build and the ship modules will be down in the description if you're interested. Um, also down there you'll find our email address. Um, so if you have any captures, um, any gameplay captures, funny moments, good plays, um, clutch moments, send them in. Uh, we can always add our commentary to them. Um, if you're not already, feel free to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thank you ever so much. I'm the Gav Major, and back to the port.